What's up guys, this is Gesture of None here. I'm playing the forest and um, I'm playing on the vegetarian mode. They call it cheat mode. I kind of prefer the word vegetarian because I don't like feeling like a cheater. Nonetheless, it probably is cheating. So I'm playing on vegetarian mode. If you have any severe uh, distaste for that idea, then let me know and maybe I'll, I'll change it. I'm definitely going to change it at some point in the future, but for now, I'm playing in... Uh, in um, I'm playing in vegetarian mode because I'm a big fan of the building in the forest and I I don't I don't I don't find it very easy to build when I'm being attacked constantly. So um, we will be switching to uh, a different mode pretty soon in the future. But for now, we have free reign as a vegetarian in this world of carnivores. And by carnivores I mean cannibal and by vegetarian I mean cheetah. So we are going to head over to, I don't need to sneak because there's no one about. This, this is a sense of freedom that you don't normally get in the forest. Okay. okay. The forest is a very freeing game. But I particularly mean you get this real sense of freedom in the forest from not having to sneak about like a sneaky... Sneaker... Sneakyton. Well, a lot of sticks. Um, a lot of sneaks too. Um, yeah, because you know that you're not going to get attacked. Even in the caves, there's no one. Well, there's not a cave there. I thought there was because of this. But um, even in the caves, there's no one. Which is something that I would probably request be changed um, if I could talk to the developers, which I cannot. Um, which is that you apparently you can't chop that stick. I thought you could. Um, which is that if you're playing a vegetarian mode, I really think it would be better to... Why can't I chop this stick either? Am I not allowed to chop sticks? Okay, there we go. Gotta go for the base. Yeah, if you're playing a vegetarian mode, it really seems like... Um, since it's halfway between the completely free, no one's going to attack you mode, and halfway and the, the everyone will kill you as soon as you step foot out of the plane mode, I would really like it if the cannibals only came out um, in the night time, but in the cave, since it's dark down there anyway, they... I don't know why I'm trying to go back in there. In the caves, they're still there, even in the daytime. That way... Because, I mean, it's a little bit too easy to explore the caves when there's no one... Like, there's no threat... Um, I don't know, or perhaps just in the dark, the, the deeper caves. It, uh, I mean, it's up to the developers, but I really feel like um, that would add a a really likable option to the game. Because I love I love building all day in the forest and then having to fend off attackers in the night. But I'm not a huge fan of trying to build and trying to defend myself, even as I'm just like starting out. Um, I realise that it's it's a little bit easier. There's like a a real difficulty curve to this game. Um, as you play, it gets a little bit harder because of the fact that I think the cannibals become more aware of your presence, and then um, because of that, they they start appearing in greater numbers. More difficult ones start appearing, and you also end up with um, the mutants. But uh, even then, I mean, I do not want to have to think about the cannibals as I'm building my base, apart from the fact that the that I want to defend from the cannibals. Um, so I put it on vegetarian mode. I will definitely, as soon as I have a base that is like fairly close to finished, not finished, but you know, I, I, it's set up, um, then I will switch it to the full mode. And I guess this is on the theory that the cannibals would, if someone was on their island fucking with their shit, um, eventually start venturing out at more difficult uh, and more dangerous times in order to take care of someone. Um, so what am I doing right now? I'm just trying to find my bearings, really. I have spent a lot of time in the forest, so I know roughly where I am, um, although it will be embarrassing now to get lost. But I'm almost certain that if, if you go over here, there is a little area um, that is isolated and you can actually build a base fairly safely on that. But that's not where I'm going. Today I am going to go build a treehouse. Um, but not your average treehouse. I would like to build a treehouse in one of those big ass, I'm going to call it the holy tree. One of those holy trees. The ones that... Ooh, put, um, the ones that... Uh, the ones that the cannibals sometimes can be found worshipping around in the mornings. Um, that's a shitload of rope. And, and by shitload, I mean three. Yeah, the ones that the cannibals can be found worshipping around sometimes in the mornings. And that, um, I think they get pretty aggressive if you spend too much time there. Um, which is why I'm going to use it. I fucking hate these cannibals. I'm going to go... I'm going to make a bed and a bloody toilet on top of their holy tree. Um, because this is how disputes should be solved. They want to eat me, well I'm going to poop on their holy tree. 
It's a good job I'm not a diplomat. Um, right, I can't chop. What is wrong with my chopping? Okay. Thank you very much. Stupid stick. Oh, some cloth. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, and it's raining. Okay. Um. Ugh, I need a spear. I need a spear so I can get bunny rabbits. Come on. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. Nope. Fine. Um. Okay. If I know the forest correctly, there should be a holy tree quite close to us. Although they have been adding some stuff, and I haven't played in a while, they have been adding some stuff to the forest, um, making it a little bit larger. So I'm not sure that I, I know the terrain as well as I used to. Um, I tell you what, if it takes me a ludicrous amount of time to get to a big tree, I will cut between there and now. So um, I'll do my best not to say anything interesting just in case. Uh, I'm joking, I'm going to keep talking, but uh, if I have to cut it, I have to cut it. Because uh, I don't think you guys want to see me walking around for, for two hours trying to find a bloody tree in a forest. Literally trying to find a tree in a forest. Um, okay, I, actually, having said that I really know where I am, I am completely and totally lost. I don't recognise this area of the map at all. And I tend to stay in, like, the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, the bottom right-hand corner of the map. There is no map, but the bottom right-hand corner of, of the forest area. Um, so this, I think I'm in the upper left right now, or closer to it. This area is a little bit of a mystery to me. So I could be running round and round in circles. I don't think I am, though. Um, ah, thank you. Lizard, come here. Yes, I hate it when the lizards run because they're such a... Like, I'm used to the fact that they never run from you. I started playing this game before they, uh, they changed that. Um, so it's always, always a surprise when a lizard tries to escape. Um... Screw you, uh, Surface Book Pro, whatever it is. I, I think there's somewhere between a Mac and a, and a, and a Surface. Alright, there should be a... No, I don't need strength. There should be a spear in this pond somewhere. Maybe it's in the water? That's annoying. I could really use a spear, and I love, I love the spear. It's my favourite weapon. Right, I'm gonna head this way, and I'm. So, I think, I think there is a big holy tree, uh, in this direction. This is the direction I came from. Yes. Uh, okay, I got lost. I'm hopping because, uh, again, like like I said, there's this crazy sense of freedom when there's no cannibals out trying to kill you. It's also a very different game when there's no cannibals out trying to kill you because it's basically a survival, um, like a turn-based survival thing. You you do your turns, and then the zombies come. And uh, you have to defend yourself. Although, unfortunately, you can just sleep through the zombie attacks. And I, I really would... I'd like it if this game was a little bit different in the aspect that... So, I, like I talked about, the zombies only come at night and they can be found in the caves during the day. Um, but I'd also like it if, uh, for example, you couldn't sleep if there was a certain number of zombies around or if they were coming... Uh, if there was, like, scripted attacks that happened randomly based on a, a number of factors. And there are things like that, but... Basically, I'm saying I'd like it just to happen at night. Um, you could also characterize this as my laziness uh, in terms of the fact that I do not really want to spend a lot of my time fighting off cannibals in a cannibal fighting game. Um, yeah, I think a lot of this is going to be cut because I can't find... Ah! Ah! Yes! Good! Perfect! Do you see it? It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to shit on it. I'm going to shit all over it. So um, some of you may be thinking that it is not possible to make a uh, treehouse in this particular tree. Um, you would be wrong in that sense, in that regard, in that aspect, in other ways. What we do, firstly, the first step to, chop, to making a treehouse is um, chopping down a tree, obviously. Um, once you've done that, I said, once you've done that, come on, do not fall in the ocean. I should have got behind it and prevented it from falling in the ocean. You bastard. Um, I'm very sorry for my language. I I'm still new to this let's playing thing, and I've still got to decide whether I want to be uh, 
like the swearing aggressive kind or the um, well I, I guess the other kind is just not that um, we'll see anyway you cut down your tree I'm gonna cut down the stump as well I don't know why because I'm not gonna hide from the cannibals and there aren't any cannibals to hide from in the day anyway like they're, they're gonna is the tr two tr tree stumps Oh no, this tree is just a bit higher than it probably should be. So, you cut down your tree. Um, you don't actually have to do that first. I just happened to start doing it. Oh, that's cool. They have they just added the uh, added the fact that the pages come up. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, you will need a platform. And... Uh, oh, what's that? Capital. Cool. Platform. You can take a platform... And you are going to put it in this tree in such a way that it clips. Like it clips through the tree. Um, you can do this in a lot of ways. And you just have to do your best to do it in a way that looks good. Like that. Now, sometimes you put it up and then you come around and you realize that it is in fact uh, in a completely useless position. This one is, yeah, see, there's, there's no accessible, we need somewhere to clip a rope to, so we have to do this until we have somewhere where we can put a rope. I'm hoping to get this done before nightfall when the cannibals come. Um, because from up here, we can't do anything apart from wait out the night basically up here, but we can, um, you know, not die from cannibalness. Um, uh, the reason I'm, I'm, I, I could just put it next to the tree and then build around the tree. The reason I'm clipping it through the tree is because I really like the idea that it's um, physically in the tree. Yeah, I should be able to. I mean, this isn't great. It's still not very clipped. Um, to a certain extent, you need part of it out because you need somewhere to put the rope, and then you have to. Your character has to be able to physically get on the tree. Um, I think here will be good enough. Is there a log there? Oh, that's a root. So, uh, yeah, the platform is sticking out enough that we should be able to put a rope on it. And, and as you saw earlier, we actually collected some rope completely unintentionally. Well, not unintentionally. I clicked E to pick it up, but I mean, I wasn't looking for it. Um, which means we can, as soon as we've built this, we can actually get into the into our new tree home. From there, um, it's about expanding in whatever way you can. Um, if you want the treehouse to still look like a treehouse, you need all of your struts, all your structural supports to be inside the tree. Um, which does limit your option. No! Wow, that one went far. I will get that later. It does limit your options to a certain degree, um, and it does limit you to a very small house. I wish that there was a little bit more flexibility in the way that uh, in the way that these structures work. And I, I think the developers are working on that. They've got these custom buildings now for people who want to have more intricate designs. Personally, I'm not looking for intricacy. I'm just looking for, um, for freedom. Um, I'd like to be able to put stuff to make stuff that looks like shit if, if I want. And I, I know that you can. I just mean um, it doesn't really matter to me that uh, it doesn't look quite right in the tree. No, actually, sorry, that's wrong. It matters completely and totally to me. I really want it to look right in the tree. Um, what, it, what matters to me that, is that I don't care whether it wouldn't hold itself up. I'd like to be able to put platforms on this tree. Um, so I, I think what would be an excellent introduction is... Um, I know, for example, there are some mods in Fallout that allow you to place things without having to have them on anything. Uh, in the build mode, I mean. Um, something similar to that would be great. Like a place anywhere... A place anywhere building option. Um, I can see that this might be abused in some ways, but it could also lead to some very interesting creations. It, in the survival mode, it might be less of a. Uh, yeah, I think it's more likely to be abused in the survival mode. But I mean, that's that's up to the player. If the player wants to abuse things and make the game less fun for themselves, that's. I don't know it's their choice, but also, I mean, I guess it's their mistake. Um, but I can understand the developer's rationale in uh, limiting the usage. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the concept that, um, you know, if, if give, give players the option to make things that break the game. Um, give players the option to make things that will break the game. 
and let them choose whether they want to break it or not. Um, personally, I choose not breaking it, but just uh, doing things a little bit differently. And I, th I think that's what most people would choose. Uh, okay, here we go. This is our tree house. Um, it is hard to maneuver because we only have really this little bit to walk on. You can actually walk, once you've gotten up to these trees, you can actually walk on them. They're a little bit hard to navigate. Um, and if you're not careful, you will fall off pretty sharpish. So the next thing we're gonna do is now that we're up here is build a custom platform. Um, okay, so I'm not very good at navigating this menu. We're gonna establish that now. Is this a custom platform? No, this is a custom floor. Um, Seriously. Okay. Uh, custom foundation. This is the one. So, because we can now see up here properly, we can. Well, I'm going to do up, up there. We are going to place this platform in such a way that it pokes out the top. Yeah. So, you see, that's annoying there that it's. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to place it like that. Oh, that's weird. It wouldn't let me place it um, like that. Ah, it's too low. See, I mean, it's difficult. Uh, this is why I wouldn't mind the idea of being able to place it wherever I want to. Um, this is a, a pretty niche scenario, though. I mean, no, not everyone's trying to build inside of a tree that's not really a tree. Because uh, this is obviously just an, uh, like a a model I guess you'd call it just a graphical model so um, there's not really much need to have it buildable then again I can totally I can I can see that when they introduce tree houses into this game which they have I mean you can build a, a literal actual tree house um, they must have imagined that people would want to build in these in these like tree trees these non these uh, non tree trees because they're, they're, they're some of the coolest... Well, they're not cool. They're, they're just some of the most unique objects in the game. Um, and I think this will... do. It's only going to expand what we can live on a tiny bit. But, um, you know, it's enough. So we're just going to cut down another tree. Soon we're going to have to get up into the, the tree, into our home tree, because night is falling and uh, I have said it so that the, the zombies, the creatures, the cannibals, whatever you want to call them, mutants, will come at night. And uh, I am woefully unprepared. I don't even have food or water. Woefully unprepared to face them. Oh, my energy ran out. Fortunately, I have these. I realise there is a system in the game now with, that determines your uh, energy levels, like your um, your stats. Yeah, the system in the game that determines your stats. They're eating uh, sugary sweets and uh, and soda. Uh, soda. I've never used the word soda in my life before. And because I'm talking on the internet, I use the word soda. What's wrong with me? Um, yeah, if you if you eat, uh, fizzy pop, as we should should properly call it, if you eat fizzy pop in the uh, in the get drink fizzy pop in the game you'll start to get fat and you get slower i think i don't know exactly what the extent of the um what the extent of the changes are but um either way i think being slow in this game is certainly not recommended so here we made a little fire because we need to see oh isn't that beautiful isn't that such a lovely little tree house and we have such a nice view as well well you can't see anything because it's dark, but I mean, other than the darkness, we have a lovely, lovely view. Uh, there are actually no creatures about. I, I built a tree house on that tree over there a while ago, but it's just a bit boring because none of the enemies will come. I mean, in terms of your success as a survivalist on the island, that's probably one of the best places to build something because um, no one ever goes there. So you're not, you're not likely to die at any time soon. Oof. In this game, I will say, every single movement of a leaf makes you freak out about uh, about what could be coming. Okay, come on, tree, you're coming with me. 
or coming with me to tree um is it tree heaven or tree hell when i cut them down and make them into a into a platform around another tree i guess it's tree hell because um they're all like mutated and twisted and put together with their other the others of their kind it doesn't look like a particularly happy existence if 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 that happened to me after my death if i was somehow assembled into a big structure made of humans i well firstly cut up and then made into a big structure made of humans all of whom had been cut up i would probably be pretty uncomfortable and i would consider that uh human hell so yeah yeah let's call this tree hell you're going to tree hell well you're not you're a stump you're you're just gonna to be destroyed and then fade into oblivion which might is it better or worse fading to oblivion versus being cut up i i i think in terms of like psychologically speaking fading into oblivion is a much more worrying concept but also humans really fear pain and uh being cut up looks quite painful so um yeah i'd say the stump gets the better the better end of the bargain although i suppose it gets cut up too it's just that it gets cut up um and then fades into oblivion so the stump has the worst oh fuck Thank you. Uh, the stump has the worst end of the deal. It gets both. It gets both. There we go. Sometimes it's a bit hard to target the right places to put the logs in. We are short by just two logs. Um, I realise it's a bit framey this episode. Um, I am going to work on improving my frame rate. Right now I'm getting about 15 frames a second, which uh, is basically a slideshow. I really like chopping in the night while holding a lighter. I'm a very strong man. I don't know if you can tell that. I'm, I'm a very manly, very strong man. I only need one arm, and I am not burning my thumb at all on this very hot lighter. Something was just added. I must have seen a cannibal. I must have seen a cannibal. Sometimes the game sees things that you actually haven't seen. See, look, you can see how much we're adding to this platform. It's not really going to make a huge difference. Um, it's not going to give us much more breathing room. Yep, I saw a cannibal. Where is that bitch? I know, it's, I'm, I'm not being sexist. It's a bitch. It's, it's, a, it's a woman, and it is evil. And that is, I guess, the word we use for that. Oh, I can hear her. Oh, oh there she is. Is that her? No. Is she inside the tree? Yeah, oh, there she is. Fuck you. I'll use my lighter, I don't care. See, look, this tree can't be chopped. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I am not fighting this woman. Fine, I'll fight her. Uh, do the double tap. I'm sorry for going all silent. Oh, I should pick up that too. Ah, it's gone. Sorry for being all silent, but uh, I am not very good at fighting and I get very tense. Nope. Nope. Go up the tree. I don't want to fight too. Go up the tree. Go up the tree. There's a good uh, character. Yeah. I guess it's only one. One little one. <laughs> Please don't make me fight him. Fine, let me take some uh, sugary drink. When he comes back round here and I can get a good view on him, I will fight him. Okay. You better fucking stop. Oh my god, where did he go? Where did he go? Ah, oh, there you are. I cannot... <laughs> Fuck 
you. Why is there a radio playing sound when you burn a corpse? I've got some bones now. The main motivation... Yeah, it is a radio playing sound. The main motivation for collecting bones is so that I can make a spear. That's all I really, really want to do. Um, spears are the best. Uh, I don't think there are any... Get the money, get the money, get the money. Just kill the cannibal, but you can't kill a fucking bunny rabbit. Idiot. Um, I am, of course, talking to myself. And I think I'm basically decided to be the uh, scary, angry kind of Let's Player. Um, no, I'm, <laughs> I couldn't ever be scary. But certainly uh, a little bit of sweary. Um, is the sun almost up? Yeah, okay, let's go chop that tree that we were chopping before. Or did we already chop it? Yes, we did. So we can finish our base once we find... Some plant. Some tree. Ah, there it is. Great. I think we just need two. That's great. There is a wooden structure inside of a tree. It does make the tree look a little bit weird. I would really like it if I could, for example, just build a ladder and use the tree as a support for the... the uh... Oh, fuck. Did not see that one. I was actually stretching off camera. Um... Come on, walk through the fire, you bastard. Yeah. Yeah, you're scared, aren't you? You're scared. Yeah, you better run. Go on. Oh, there's two of them. I'm going to run. I'm running. Oh, I almost ran into the fire. Flee, 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 flee. Flee, 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 flee up the tree. Ah, safety. Beautiful, safe tree. The tree of safetiness. Oh, I am not good at handling cannibal fear. Yeah, walk in the fire. I just can't do it, guys. I just, uh, I am not a cannibal fighter. Um, so, I mean, we're almost done, I think, with the base. And I'm going to cut the episode here because I, I do not want to have to uh, drag you guys through stuff that, um, like, there's no point watching an hour-long Let's Play um, of, of me learning to be a Let's Player. But certainly, I think, um, no, I accidentally clicked on the rope. Okay, good. Yeah, see, the, uh, learning to be a Let's Player and learning to not... Um, not embarrass myself on camera. Um, so I'm going to cut off the episode pretty soon. I just want to apologise really quickly for the quality of my commentary. It's going to get better, but um, in these first few series... Yes! Yes, she's on fire! In these first few series, it's not going to be phenomenal. Because I've still got to learn uh, learn what to do and what not to do. Oh, they fought. Well. Well. I jumped down, and this Let's Play may very well end with me being dragged into a hole by two... Oh, he's burning again. Not good with fire, that one. Come on. So, um, yeah, let's try and talk and fight. Oh, good. He ran away. Idiot. Um, there's two of them. There's two of them. There's three of them. There's three of them. Back to the tree. This is the best strategy. Fight for a little while and then run terrified to your tree after calling the, the cannibals bitches. Okay. Ah, safe tree. Right. I'll, uh, what I was saying. I'm, I'm sorry for my uh, let's play commentary. Sorry for the quality. Um, it's going to get better over time because even in this video, even from the start to the finish, I can feel myself being a little bit more confident, a little bit more willing to, uh, to talk and also less less judgmental of flubs because I guess flubs happen um, so I will cut this let's play here I have said that five times have patience with a commentary this is the second time of saying that too and uh, I really appreciate you sticking around and watching me um, for now guys let's fade out on the beautiful view shut up shut up the beautiful view that our home has this has been gesture of none thank you very much for your time and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Fuck off! Oh no. Do you see that in the distance? That is a minotaur, and they f***ed you up. They, you, you... Okay, I swore I'm going to bleep that. Um, no, he saw me. He saw me.